The following presentation is rated Web G for general audiences. And now, a BOA.TV original series. Welcome to the family. Previously on Welcome to the Family. They thought it's time for them to move. We are uh, on the land of our future home. But and the ground is hard. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and he's telling me it's not that big. My first thought when I'm gonna die. Anyone can entertain you, but only we entertain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Are you ready? Welcome to the family. We have not done an event in about four years in South Florida. One of the reasons is because the economic downfall that everybody was going through and the complaints of people that wouldn't invest in themselves because they were going through a tough time. Even though I haven't been able to do the events for four years because the market in the States was really rough, I've been able to travel the world and do corporate events where they bring me in as a keynote or a special guest star, which is great. However, I really love doing my personal events and the times have changed and people are now getting more involved and are more concerned about really educating themselves. So we decided to do an event. I'm really excited because I really love doing these events. And besides having a great time, it will be life changing. One of the ways that we promote our business and our seminars is to do what we call a corporate performance workshop. We are off to do a corporate performance workshop. These are workshops that sometimes some of our sponsors pay for so that one of our trainers can go out there and train a company staff. Hi, I'm Maria. Here's Hannah Maria for training. One. one of the things that I've grown to love throughout the years and I became pretty good at is doing corporate trainings. I go out there and give information the teams that already learn and get empowered by what we have to teach. So throughout the years in our career at Boa World, we have done thousands and thousands of the CPWs, Corporate Performance Workshops. So we have a lot of fun, you know, we get to train people. It's a, it's a good thing to do because mostly it's self-improvement and people are learning skills that are going to help them better either their sales, their business, or their yeah, personal that's, lives. That's what so. this company's all about. However, I am not the one that generally delivers them. I train the trainers. But the last year or so, I've been doing a lot of intro for Bert at our different corporate functions and events, and I've been on stage quite often, and I'm a lot more comfortable doing these things. How many of you like to learn and have fun at the same time? Though? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. So, where were you last night? Do you think that I'm a passionate person for what I do? Yes. Yes, because yes? I love what I do. I was comfortable with my delivery. How is this presentation? Unbelievable! Good, at least the nerves are gone now. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good presentation. I mean, the way this program is developed, it's something that I have never experienced somebody that hasn't liked it. You know when you screw up and you know when you don't, and hopefully nobody else notices. I know I got stuck a couple times. <laughs> But it was my first time, so that was expected. Um, I haven't done one of these in a couple of years, but I was okay. Once I got started, I was comfortable. One of the things that people don't realize is when we do these events, there's a lot of planning and things that have to get done behind the scenes. Then you have to go ahead and meet with other promoters and create strategic alliances in order to make sure that the event is not only a success, but it gets out to the right people. And Eric Stoller is one of the top promoters in the country when it comes to motivational seminars. She doesn't necessarily have to be on the main stage. We can bring her up there for five minutes. All I want to do is have three to 500 people, paid people. Right, I know, only three to 500, I know. That's Which is, right. well, I know, but we're in 2015. We're not in 2000 when it was easy. In 2000, I was doing 1,500 people. Yeah, I know. 1,000 people. I know. <laughs> One of the great things to having these meetings is that you're strategized, you brainstorm. See what I do is I put the thing in the morning, if you look on my page, 7.30 to 9 is a leadership breakfast. In the motivational world, the world that I'm in, it's been shifted so much. When I started over 21 years ago, there was only a handful of top speakers. Now the market has shifted. Work together. Right. These new guys, the new breed, they want to be better than the other person. Right. They're What's not the collaborating, breed? they're just competitive. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but he, the reason you have badass rap stars is because P. Diddy was friends with Tupac and Tupac was friends with Biggie and, and you collaborate, you work together. You're good at one thing, I'm good at something else. Right. 
Every now and then it gets a little heated when you're doing these meetings. However, that passion has to come out. These other guys, you're picking guys that have no credibility just because they have a big Twitter. You don't know if the Twitter's legit. I can look it up and tell you if their followers are real. And that way, for the most part, your event will be a major success. People in our event, in one day, you'll see them cry, laugh, jump up and down. I mean, all that stuff is legit. If and only if you're gonna be in South Florida in November, you must not. Are you paying attention? You must not miss the power drive. So make sure to go online and get your ticket while supplies last. Seating is limited, and I'm not just saying that. Believe me. You ready? So what are you waiting for? Go! Let's review what just happened. One of the things that we learned was when Alexa was talking about what she's used to doing and things that she's doing right now that she's not used to. What does that mean? That means that you have to push yourself. In order to grow, you gotta get out of that comfort zone. So when was the last time that you went out of your comfort zone? And not because you had to, because you wanted to. The second part of this episode that was really impactful was being able to strategize. You need to team up with the right people in order to create that powerful event that you've been dying to do or that powerful thing that you're dying to do in your life. So teaming up is a positive thing when it's done well. And like always, I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as we enjoyed making it for you. And remember to keep making it happen. Hi, I'm Alexa from Welcome to the Family. And don't forget to comment, like, share. Oh yeah, and subscribe. <laughs>